This week in the tent, our bakers will be working on their own twist on a classic American birthday cake. Uh, yeah, no, I actually worked on this recipe with my mom, practiced it at home, uh, and we still aren't talking, so... Uh, hopefully this helps patch things up. Kyle enjoys baking at home with his family and is competing with a very particular goal in mind. I am only here for a Paul Hollywood handshake. I do not care what else happens. I don't even have to win. I don't. I seriously don't. If I get that handshake, nobody, I mean nobody, gets to criticize my cooking ever again. Our other semi-finalist, Daniel, spends his time baking for a local orphanage. I am excited to give money to those who are in need. I love the show. I'm so happy to be here. I hope all of my fellow competitors have as great of a time as I do. He recently left his job and downgraded to a smaller flat in order to focus on his charity work. It looks like you're struggling a bit to get your sponge cake the right consistency. Well, this is actually my mom's recipe, um, but I have made some adjustments with you in mind that I think you're just gonna love. Well, I hope you don't disappoint your mother. <laughs> ah, might be too late for that. Good one though. Put her there. Just right, right. All right. I like the flavors you're going with this time. Thank you. It's a very clever combination. I like the alcohol. I actually learnt this at the orphanage I used to work at, uh, St. Paul's Orphanage for Limitless Children. So all the credit goes to them. Hey, no one cares. It's a cooking show, you know? So maybe uh, focus on the cooking. All right, carry on. He, um, he's very enthusiastic. And I, uh, I wish him all the best. And... The bakers will now find out whether they've succeeded or fallen short of Paul and Prue's standards. All right, Kyle, you're up first. Mm. I think you failed to do the sponge properly. It's it's much too dense. Mm. Also, I don't like the flavor much. Where did you get the idea for mint and turmeric? I don't think those flavors pair well together at all. The uh, icing's running, right it tastes like nothing. I think all in all, it's a poor bake. You'll have to be more careful if you want to make it to the next round. Well, in case I don't, it has been an honor, sir. Just touch my hand. Just touch it. All right. Daniel, let's see what you've got. This may be the best thing I have ever had on this show. Excellent work. Thank you. Thank you. Yes! I got it! What is the matter with you? Uh, Everybody saw that? I got the handshake. I absorbed your power. <laughs> I don't even need a win now. Good luck, everybody, except Daniel. Fuck you. Well, I, I tried my best. I think I did all right. Let's give it a rest, Daniel. Ta-da. Hi, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, like the video with the thumbs up button. And also, uh, if you're not subscribed, do that. Thomas, tell them tell to go to Doormaster Studio to watch behind the scenes content. Go to Door Monster Studio to watch behind the scenes content. Abigail doesn't like the cauliflower or egg because she literally eats rocks. Oh, hey, there's the rocks comment. Yes, we have Abigail didn't eat rocks 50 times. Why isn't she eating rocks <laughs> as a punchline? <laughs>